So I want to jump on here and sort of give you guys a rundown of some of the events that led up to me getting accepted to this research study at the Cleveland Clinic and what's going to be going on during my month's stay there for the actual study. Um, so about a year and a half ago, I met a doctor, chiropractor, genius, out of Dubois, Pennsylvania. And I've went to multiple doctors, multiple. I went to a chiropractor a while ago. He was also amazing, um, tried different things with me. Um, but Dr. Gibson tried, really thought outside the box, um, really tried different things. We sort of feed off each other's energy and determination. You can see how determined I am to get to that next step. So I think we feed off each other. And he saw an opportunity to let's try to do everything possible and see what we can do, see what we can regain. So I started working with him. And when I first went to him, I thought I could feel hot and cold sensation on my legs. I could, but not great, I guess. So about two months into it, I was like, wow, I was in the shower and I could feel hot. It was hot. And then I could turn it to cold. I'm like, wow, I can feel that's cold. And it was crazy. It was the craziest feeling ever. So that right there, and that's stuck with me ever since. That right there was huge. Uh, so we started doing different things, core workouts, show me different things. Let's try this. Uh, bend forward in your chair. See if you can come up without using your arms. Um, Worked with my right hand. We tried different things. As frustrated as it is, frustrating as it is, we tried different things. And I'm able to actually hold something and move it around in front of me now. I do use my wrist, but there's things going on in my fingers. They're twitching a lot more now. Uh, there's different things happening. So the, the biggest thing that happened, this was recently, I should say, is I was there and he said, okay, let's try to move your ankle backwards and forward. So I'm laying there and it wasn't a spasm because I was laying there for a long time. And when I first lay down, spasms kick in and my legs go crazy. So this wasn't a spasm. He said, okay, try to move your ankle backwards and forward. And I felt something like, whoa. He said, you feel that? I said, yeah. And he said, your ankle just moved backwards and forward. He said, all right, let's try it again. Go backwards. I went backwards and I went forward with my ankle. I'm like, holy man, that was, that was huge. It was absolutely huge. So Leading up to all this, things were changing. Things were happening with my body. I couldn't explain. I broke the plateau I was in. Just things were changing. So I was like, I want to get reevaluated by a spinal cord doctor. I want to get an MRI. I want to see what's going on, see if things, anything changed. So I met doctor, this Dr. Pneumonitis up at the Cleveland Clinic. And he is an absolutely amazing doctor. He sat with me for two hours and we talked, went over everything, head to toe, what I could feel, what I could do, what I couldn't feel. So I got the MRI and he reviewed it and he said, there's no medical reason that you should be able to do what you're doing. If I wouldn't have seen you before coming into this room, I would have thought you'd been in a power chair, not able to move anything. And nobody's ever told me that. Pittsburgh, when I was down there, basically told me I had severe whiplash. He said, no, you got a pretty severe spinal cord injury. So I, I sort of like lost my breath. I'm like, wow, I was never, ever, ever told that. So I am sitting there and he's telling me this. And I'm like, he's like, I don't know what you've been doing, but don't quit doing it. He said, the only, there's no medical reason. The only thing is how hard you have worked up to where you're at now. You never gave up. You kept pushing through the plateaus. Um, and that right there really is like, wow. So medical, the medical side of things can't always explain what's going on. So he, I think he saw, he saw my determination, obviously. And he sort of threw me a paper. It's like, hey, you know, check this out. So he sort of pursued it, checked it out. And... I went, got a pre-trial on Zoom for the research study. It's for the brain stimulation to retrain the brain, how to interact with your upper extremities. Uh, so passed pre-trial pre screening and went to Cleveland Clinic 
this past week and underwent all the baseline testing, um, the neurophysical testing, which is where they pinpoint in my brain as I'll put the video in there, sort of what they did, put a cap in my head, visualize, see my brain, see a mock-up brain, I should say, on the screen, and then pinpoint what hot spots, they call them, would move each muscle in my upper extremities, bicep, tricep, fingers. And they just kept saying, what, like, what have you, and the team of doctors have also seen all my MRIs. None of them can explain how I'm able to do what I'm doing, which I think that's why they're so excited for me to start this trial to see what happens. Um, so, you know, they asked, what have you been doing? And I said, you know, I don't go to therapy. I do therapy four or five times a week on my own. I walk on my own, stand as much as possible. I'm very active. I try to stay as active as possible. As you guys can see in my videos, I am constantly doing something. I can't sit still, but my pathways, when they were doing my, like the brain stimulation were not far off meaning from an able body to a, to an injured patient, we're not super far off. He said, your pathways are really open to your, you know, to your upper extremities. Like, what have you been doing? And I said, I have been going, I went to a upper cervical chiropractor and I truly believe this guy has opened the gateway, I'll call it, to me getting what I've been getting back recently. So while I'm, while all this is going on, I was still unsure if I was going to be in the trial. Uh, I was hoping I was, but I was hoping it wasn't, my upper extremities weren't too good to not qualify me for it. Please say I was good to go starting January 5th. January 5th, when I'm there, I'm going to be going, doing intense upper body therapy. Also, also I'll be doing while I'm doing intense upper body therapy, they're going to be stimulating my brain. I'm going to be wearing a cap, stimulating the spots that they pinpointed during this pre-trial neurophys testing in hopes that it's going to start activating muscles, more muscles in my arm, my hand, as I'm doing this therapy with this cap on. So I will say when I was down there, I had to do the baseline testing. The most frustrating thing in the world is trying to, a hand that doesn't work, barely, works a little bit, picking up quarters, small quarters, picking up small nuts and bolts, trying to put them in a slot. It's gonna be very frustrating. It's gonna be very intense. I'm gonna be doing therapy 8.39 till noon, every day, except Wednesday. Wednesdays are optional if I wanna try, if I'm not too tired, trying to get back and doing different things, working with therapists. So, it's gonna be very interesting. If you guys have any questions about anything, shoot me a message, drop a comment. I'll do the best I can to answer any questions. But also, while I'm talking about this, people ask me where I found this trial. I actually went to the Cleveland Clinic and talked with them, and they sort of gave me insight on this trial. But there is a website that I did not know about. It's called clinicaltrials.gov. Check it out. There's a trials... Every trial that's going on is on that site. So check it out. I was actually on there last night checking it out. There's a lot of things going on that I had no idea. So check it out. If you have any questions, drop a comment.